Sikili za dunia ujue kwamba mimi si wako Sikili za dunia eh, ujue kwamba mimi si wako Hello good people welcome to another episode of the 100 days challenge in case you're new here my name is Masha I'm a YouTuber based in Nairobi Kenya to my returning subscribers and viewers thank you for always coming back and clicking on my video so welcome to another episode in this episode uh, I'll be showing you how I connect with my god this is a rather uh, special episode to me first things first uh, my name is Masha as I've already told you I am a believer by choice by faith uh, for the longest time i've been a christian so that is the faith that i subscribe to so in this episode i'm going to show you how i connect with my god if you are of a different religion but you'd like to know welcome if you are of the same religion and you'd like to just uh, share and uh, see how how differently you connect with god then this is also another good video for you and if this is not the faith that you subscribe to and uh, you just like to know and see i hope that this touches you maybe you've been questioning your journey your faith then uh, i hope this is a sign for you <laughs> but also if this is not a, uh, the type of content that you'd like to watch or something um, then always feel free people subscribe to different faiths and religion we don't judge anybody it depends on how you're brought up and what you believe in it is okay so we have different ways of connecting uh, with God. People connect with God differently. Others through prayer. Others uh, connect with God through their times of hardship. Other co others connect with God through singing and dancing. Every way is okay. So I try to spare every, uh, some hours, like uh, two hours or an hour or even minutes of my day to just talk to my God. I remember his goodness, talk to him about my problems, talk to him about my worries. Some days um, I just uh, spend a few minutes. Sometimes I might even be out there walking or working and then I just uh, think of something and then I talk to God in prayer silently. So pe different people connect to God differently. So, but uh, when I'm in the house, I usually have uh, some sort of a uh, routine. And uh, I don't know what gets you in the spirit. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section. But for me, it is usually first listening to gospel music. There have been times in my life when I've been at my lowest points. There are some times that I was really hurt, that I questioned if God really exists, that I, I questioned if uh, we should even believe in what we are told uh, in religion. Uh, there have been times that I felt so low, but uh, every time I'll still pray to God and tell him to just show me his presence in my life. There are times that it hurt until I stopped praying. But uh, every time I'm able to recollect, I just thank God for his glory and for bringing me back to his presence and his home because he's my father and uh, in him I worship and believe. So I remember this time, uh, one time I went to a service in Ruiru. There was a church there. Uh, we used to go with my cousins. But lately I've not been going to the same church because uh, it is far and I have a, a child. And on Sundays when I decide to prepare, and then uh, get to go to church. Most of the times I'll get late maybe because I'm preparing and uh, the baby is disturbing or it is far. Sometimes when you think about the fair. So I started going to the church at our university and uh, I think it's just okay. And uh, But one thing that I picked from the church in Riru was one service that uh, the reverend there was preaching and uh, he was telling us uh, it is good to come together as believers in a church and pray. But it's good to come together as a church and uh, fellowship and worship together. But uh, still, there are even those who do not come to church every day, but they are able to pray on their own and establish a personal relationship with God. That is what matters the most because he says that. Uh, that um, I don't remember the scripture he quoted. I was trying to get to find the notes, but I don't know why I wrote it. But uh, he said, There's, there will come a time that uh, people will not have to go to buildings to worship. That there will come a time that people will only worship in truth and in spirit. People will know God by themselves and wherever they will be. So long as they have chosen to know God, they'll be worshiping in truth and in spirit. No matter where they will be, 
no matter the circumstances and i just felt like this that was a really powerful message if you can go to church go to church because they say where well, there is two there is god so when you go to church you are able to interact with your fellow believers you find hope you listen to other people are uh, telling their what is what are they called testimonies you listen to people giving their testimonies and you feel nice you feel empowered you see people crying during prayers because they are praying for something that they really need and you understand that you're not alone you you understand that in this uh, life everyone has something they are battling but if you believe then you're going to make it you're going to get through it so that is just the goodness of worshiping in a group or in a church but uh all if you cannot make depending on where you live and that's the, like there in some countries where there's a lot of violence or killings or something and people can't even go out to gather and worship so you, you worship alone so even if you're worshiping alone establish a personal relationship with god worship in truth and in spirit and he listens god listens if god listened to jonah when he was in the stomach of a fish why won't he listen to you if god listened to uh, to peter and paul, uh, to paul and silas when they were locked up why won't he listen to you so just establish a personal relationship with god and it's going to be okay so first of all in the house i have as i was telling you have this routine i just like to sometimes i just be seated and i just be thinking about the glory of the lord and i just put on some music listening to gospel music really puts me in the spirit because i listen i don't know if that is the reason or uh, I think that is the reason because I just listen to the words that are being sung and I just reflect on them and I think about the goodness and the glory of the Lord and it just fills me up. I feel I feel good. I feel like I'm in I have some power. I feel like I am now able to talk to my God. I understand that there are people who don't even need to listen to gospel that they will just reflect and then start uh, praying on their own or singing on their own praising God lifting their hands up to the Lord there are others who will need to read the bible first there are others who will need to listen to the music like I do and that is perfectly fine so like on this day here I was listening to music and um you can see Kilian uh, my son is also here with me so my baby boy yeah, has even uh crammed some songs that I really love listening to that's how much I listen to these songs I formed like a playlist I can even just put a song and before it starts singing so long as he sees the thumbnail he knows the song and he starts singing so most of the time I'll just be here listening to the songs and I stop in between to say a word of prayer sometimes I'll be standing sometimes I kneel sometimes I just sit and listen sometimes I feel like crying sometimes it is just happiness and there are different circumstances in life that I've been able to go through there are times when I'll feel really low and really lost really sad that I'll even stop praying but uh I realized that with my with music that is why I think I really love listening to gospel music and uh, music that praises uh and worships the lord when i put on a certain uh song and it's just reminding me about the promises like like that song that I've sung for you at the beginning of uh, this video I discovered that song like three days ago on TikTok. I was going through TikTok and then I, I heard that song and it felt so nice. And uh, I just listened to that song word by word. I need the... the 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 words and the song are very powerful very meaningful this guy is singing and uh, telling the world listen the world i am saying right now that i'm no longer yours he's saying that the things that uh, he used to think that uh, the best things to do or the right path to follow he now sees them as useless things and uh, he's confessing that by the he has been saved by the savior and it is a very nice song so i hope you go uh, if you want to go you can go and listen to sikeliza by israel mbonye that song really touched me but before that i also had some other songs like um there's this song by maverick worship or is it the same as elevation worship uh, that song called promises and then there's the one that is called miracles i listen to the, uh, this one called yeshua i listen to um, what is this other one that I really love? This one, Jairi. It's called Jairi. Ah, those songs really touch me. And every time that I'm listening, even when I'm sad or even I'm, when I'm at my lowest moment, I just remember to call on to God. Especially the song in, uh, called Jairi by Elevation Worship. Uh, it reaches a point and there's this lady who is singing and asking if he dresses the lilies with beauty and splendor, 
how much more does he love you eh? if he watches over every sparrow imagine and uh, that that is also a scripture in the bible so it is just to remind you about the promises of the lord so one way that i connect with uh, my god is by just listening to music that reminds me about his promises and uh, even at my worst moments i know that my worst is not the worst and i know that no situation is permanent i believe that uh, i can conquer anything another way is by praying when i listen to these elevation songs or worship songs or uh, these gospel songs most of the time I break into a prayer at some point. I just talk to God, I call on to him. I say everything that I want to say because at that point I look at him as my father who knows my weaknesses, who knew me before I was born, who knows my words even before I speak, who knows what is in my heart before I actually express myself and I just talk to him and tell him everything. And uh, no matter the sins that I may have committed or anything, I know that in him I'll not be judged. I know that in him there is salvation. I know that if I call on to him to lead me, he will lead me. And he does guide me. Me, I've seen the work of God in my life. I've seen the hand of God in my life. I've seen his blessings. I've seen his promises. I live in answered prayers. And it's beautiful. So every day I just uh, listen to God. Every day I talk to God. Every day I try to follow in the right path. So I, I listen to music. I pray to my God. Another way is just by um, uh, doing the right things. Sometimes I pray to God, maybe I want to take on a mission or something. Not mission, like going out to, going out practically in the name of I'm going to preach to people or something. No, I've never actually planned to go on a mission, but my cousin went one time, was to go with her, but he did not make it because uh, there was so many hindering factors. But uh, then... Any time that I get a chance to give a mess, my message to people who are losing hope or people who are questioning themselves, I'm always there. And I was talking to Bazu the other day and he was telling me of how one day we were going to work and uh, he doesn't remember what was wrong, but I preached to them and I gave them a very powerful message. Imagine, I can't even remember myself, but those that I talked to remember. So I usually just get that uh, quite a lot. It happens to me a lot. I usually have, um, I'm usually so quick to encourage people to just trust in the Lord, give, uh, surrender all their problems and trust that he's going to make a way for them. So I don't know what, I don't know about you, but you can tell me in the comment section, how do you connect with your God? How do you feel after um, praying and talking to God. Mimi, I've had these problems uh, sometimes that I could not even talk to my parents about. I could not talk to my siblings about. And the only person that was left was my God. So I just go around alone quietly and uh, close myself behind a door, lock myself and just pray so hard, call to God, ask him to show me the way, ask him for direction. There are times that I really wanted to quit some things, some aspects of my life. But then before anything, I usually go to God and tell him, God, Father, show me the way. Give me the sign. Let me know it. Help me, Father. And he did. He surely came for me. If you call on to God to ask you, to ask him to guide you or to ask for an answer, and you believe he's definitely going to give you a revelation. I'm a living testimony of that. I've struggled with some things, but when I call on to God, I usually get away. I usually get a sign, a revelation, just anything. And that's how I know. I, I that's how I know that uh, there's a God in heaven who works miracles. Maybe there are people who don't believe. Maybe you're watching this and you've been questioning your religion or your faith. There are many things in the world that are happening right now, and maybe you feel like uh, you do have no reason to believe again or to trust in God. But what I'm going to tell you before you question anything about uh, the the faith that you subscribe to or what you're doing, ask yourself about the relationship that you've established. Sometimes it's not even about the religion. You can be a, a Christian, but maybe the church that you're going to is what is causing you to lose faith. And you can be a, a Christian, but you're going to a church that builds and grows your faith, and you believe in God every day. Maybe it's the hardships that are making you lose faith. Just talk to God, establish a personal relationship with God and ask him to uh, show you his presence in your life. Talk to God, surrender everything to him.
let him know you tell him you want to know him tell him you want to be with him tell him you want favor tell him you want grace ask for everything that you want in the lord they say ask they say knock and the door shall be open shall be opened unto you so that is the same thing go to god and tell him exactly what you want he knows he knows what you want to say or even what you're thinking before you even express yourself but again you should ask everything in prayer so i hope this message uh, i hope you find this message uh, useful and helpful let us connect more this is just my message that i'm putting out there for anyone who's feeling hopeless for anyone who feels like they uh, a lot has happened in their life that has made them lose faith here i'm not talking about religion here i'm talking about spirituality and uh, because i subscribe to the christian faith that is what i was talking about so i hope to see your comments too and what you think about that mimi i'm a christian i believe in god i subscribe to the christian faith and uh, i ha- i'm establishing a personal relationship with my god and uh, until this far all i can do is give thanks to the lord for he has been faithful i've had my lowest moments but every time god has come through for me in ways that i couldn't imagine sometimes you'll just sit and think about a uh, hard time that you went through and if you really go through that then uh, there's truly a god in heaven that is what i always uh, reflect on if i he was able to go through a darkest moment of my life then god truly lives so that is all for now we'll interact more in case you need more videos just let me know uh in case there's a topic that you'll need us to talk about i don't know i don't usually have answers i'm not a pastor <laughs> but you can get views and share maybe uh, something just let uh just let us know in the comment section you can even share with us there kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't just click on the subscribe button it's totally free of charge and I'll really appreciate that. Leave me a comment on what you think or what uh, you'd like uh, me to feature in my videos. And I also opened a cooking channel, which I've left the link in the description. Let us connect on every aspect. I'm a mom, so we can connect on that. I'm a student, so I can even connect up on that. I am a corporate worker. We can connect on that. And uh, I'm spiritual. I'm saved. And Jesus is my personal savior. <laughs> So you can connect on all aspects, spiritually, emotionally, financially, every way that you'd like to connect with me. So that is all, guys. I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.